Hello and welcome to you in the Embedded System Programming course. This is Yalachimi Kantiwari. In the today's tutorial, we will learn about the FRDM KL25Z code programming with the KL and also we will have a look about debugging windows of the KL Microvision. So let's start with the KL Microvision. Click on, double click on the KL. Then open the Blinky project. Click on the open project and go in the C drive and in the K, then on the arm and in the boards, in the boards, click on the free scale and then FRDM KL 25Z and then the Blinky. Now open this Blinky project. This is the Blinky and this is the directory address where your project is and uh, this is the tool, uh, this is a menu bar and these are the toolbar. Here is the new file toolbar and these are the save, save all toolbar and these are the building or rebuild toolbar. This is known as the project window and this is known as the editor window. And this is the debug tool and this one is the breakpoint tool. And uh, I want to also tell you about something more about the project window. Now in the project window you can see here is the project page, here is the book page, you can find the books and the data sheet of the microcontrollers and uh, here is the functions which I have included in this project, this is the Blinky functions and the system functions and here is the templates, okay. So now let's start with the project, now click on the project page now click on the blinky.c double click now you can see here blinky.c has been opened okay now here are there are a three folder first is the startup as i have already explained in my previous lectures the startup file contains mainly two files one is the system files and this is the startup files so the in the system files you can see here the core clock initializations and the watchdog initializations, clock setups and the PLL frequency setups, system integration modules, all those things is initialized in the system file and uh, in your startup file you can see here the stack size, uh, stack memory area and the heap size, heap area and the heap memory address and the vectors and uh, nested vector interrupt controllers dcd and uh, all those things are initialized in the startup files you can see also here is the non-maskable interrupt handler hard fault handler and other handlers are initialized in the startup file okay now click on the blinky.c here you can see it included the your system.h header file means the mkl25z4.h header files and this is the program for the blinky so our today's task is the our today's task is the debugging the your program okay so we have to click on this debug tool click on the debug tool you can see here evaluation mode has come no u link device found means that you have not selected a proper debug tool so for selecting the proper debug tool we have to click on the target option now click on the target option here is the target now click on the debug yes in the debug please select here uh, please select here uh, cmc step where is the cmc step debugger cmc please select here cmc step debugger yeah this one cmc step debugger select here and click on the setting please verify these settings swj should be the sw it will not work in the jtag and it should be the one megahertz and here also the open SPG cmc step now in the utilities you must have to select here the cmc step debugger please verify this setting also the debug is also sw and the one megahertz otherwise it won't work click on the OK. Okay, now click on this debug menu. You can see evaluation mode 32k size limited. Yes, something is wrong. 
here here could not load because of the debug about it if you are getting this here means that you have not built your project so rebuild your project first now click on this debug and okay now something memory match expected error it's sometimes it can come otherwise sometimes it cannot come i don't know why it is coming okay now click on the again then click on the okay expected and this one agdi something memory is coming now yes please select here the cmc drive flash first okay then rebuild it okay now you can see here this is the register window make this one here the register window and this is the d assembly and these are the c code means that this is the converted code in the assembly you can say it is the in the side you snap here your d assembly window now adjust this d assembly like this one now i want to tell you something about this debugging window you can look on inside your processor click on this view menu bar here you can see your uh, some watch from the watch window you can see um, uh, about the variable uh, values and from the memory windows you can look uh, in the memory where what is the store at any particular address here is the serial window you, if you are using you what you can see them you what things and this is the analysis window the logic analyzer want to work with the fdm board and this is the trash the trash data and the trash navigation trash data means it will keep to trash about the timing and the execution profiling of your systems now in the system viewers you can see the inside your uh, inside your analog devices like adc pit and rtc dac all those things here is the adc 0 and these are the ports for a b c d and the e you got i to c usb and the gpio pta p to e all those things you can see with these things okay now i want to execute this code step by step okay so click on here the step 1 now you can see your code is executing step by step 1 now n u m this is the variable has been assigned the minus 1 now i want to see this variable suppose that in a very big a uh, project you want to see any variable then you can click on the view and the watch window then watch one and here double click and write here n u m now enter here you can see hexadecimal value making the decimal minus 1 has been loaded suppose that you want to see the direction value dir it is not in scope because it is not executed yet since the execute one line more now you can see it is the one and the one has been loaded here in the hexadecimal you want to see in the decimal okay so here you can also see this highlighted value what is the mean of this highlighted value it means that these registers has been updated in the previous execution means the r6 has been updated in the previous execution and this is the program counter means the what is going to be the next next instruction the next instruction will execute at this address 422 you can see here next instruction will execute at this address 422 that instruction is the branch that is the word aligned okay here you can see also this is the branch type instruction means it will call a some other function so if you want to look under the program status register this has the program status register here t is equal to 1 means the processor is running in the thumb mode and all those other things are the zero means there is no negative execution there is no zero executions and there is no carry there is no overflow and there is no interrupt service routine okay in the system you can see here the pre mask is the zero and control is the zero and internal mode is the thread mode and the privileged mode and the stack is unique using the main stack pointer that is the msp registers okay so if you want to the step one more then it will enter in the system core clock update 
Now suppose that you want to just exit from this function then you can click on this step out. This step out means it will automatically execute that functions and you will exit from that function. Now it has been come to the system configuration you want to also execute exit from this function then it will also the step over this current line. Okay. These things has been updated. You can see here the link registers, program counters and all those things has been updated. Now it will call the LED configuration function. You can see here the next line has been called this LED configuration function. Now it will initialize all those things. Now suppose that you want to see this the port B and the PCR registers. So click on the weave and then you can go in the system viewer. Now the port and the port B. Okay. So in the port B, you want to see this port B PCR 18. So the port B PCR 18. Click on the port B PCR 18. Now you can see all those things in the PCR registers. Okay. So click on the next. Click on the next. Now you can see the PCR 18. This max has been updated that is the alternative one means it has been initialized at the GPIO and the port B pin number 18 has been initialized for these functions. One means it enables the internal pool of registers. Okay. And it also slow slew rate to configure on the corresponding pins and all those things you can see. Means that in the debugging window you can see inside your processor means you have the capability to see inside the processor and you can know what is the going on inside the processor. So KL Microvision have lots of facility and also you can see if you are using some Cortex M3 or Cortex M4 microcontrollers and also then you can see the analysis window and the logic analyzer you can see also all those things. And also suppose that you want to execute in the breakpoint fashion then you can also add the breakpoint if suppose that just click on here and here the a single click then in the red line it will add a breakpoint now you can run this project then it will automatically come to this breakpoint and add it will stop there and now you can go from here ahead the step by step also here just a simple means that you can monitor all those registers memories and the variables all those things you can monitor thank you so much for watching this video tutorial if you have any doubt please comment below and if you want to more video tutorial please subscribe to my channel thank you so much